Well, we're Waterhouse and Dodd based in London, but we have um, offices in Paris and New York. We specialize in 19th century, but mainly Impressionist and post-Impressionist and early modern European paintings, some British and some American. Uh, we started in 1987 and um, now moved to Cork Street in 2000, so we've been here nine years. And since we moved here, we added contemporary paintings. And then two years ago, we had a third edition, which was um, Middle Eastern contemporary. So Middle Eastern and Arab contemporary art. And for the last 15 years, we have a, uh, what is now a fourth string to the business, which is an art advisory company, Fine Art Brokers. So I tend to run the fine art broking side, and my partner, Jonathan Dodd, runs the retail side of the gallery, setting up fairs at Maastricht, Palm Beach, New York, uh, and so forth. So we've, uh, we've worked together, in fact, since 1982. I put an ad in the London Times saying, leading London art gallery requires manager. And the Times made a mistake, and they printed leaking London art gallery. I still had 80 replies, and um, Jonathan stood out because uh, he worked in a gallery with a leak already, and he said he didn't want to work in another gallery with a leak. So it's, uh, what, 28 years now. Our prime market is America. We, we have two major fairs there. Palm Beach in early February and the International Fine Art Fair at the Armory in New York in May. Um, we also now do a fair in the Hamptons in the summer, which is a fun fair, it's a new fair, and they attract a lot of wealthy people who live at the Hamptons. Um, so our concentration with Impressionist and modern paintings is the States. But for our contemporary, um, we're aiming a lot at the Middle East. We don't sell in the Far East, but we have many clients in Kuwait, UAE, and a few in Saudi. The prime motivation for buying art is decoration. I mean, that's centuries old. Um, speculation and investment is a relatively new aspect to buying art and it's only in the last 10 years that it's been form formalized with the production of graphs and uh, comparing it to the Dow Jones and the FTSE 100 index. Um, I believe many of those comparisons are completely erroneous because you, the starting point, how do you compare the price of a Renoir to the FTSE 100 in 1985, it's impossible to, to chart. The May Moses Index, the May and Moses are two professors in New York universities who have a, a, a formula for tracing the investment potential of art by comparing an object which is sold and then resold at auction. So that might be uh, a clever way, but it has deep flaws. The motivation of most of our clients is decoration. Um, having said that, I don't think any client wants to lose money, even if they say, I don't mind about investment. Nobody wants to lose money, so they, if they're wise, they consult an advisor or do their own research into uh, past prices by the same artist, the similar subject. And um, that's what's important, to buy f for fun, to love what you buy, to enjoy living with it, but also not to lose money. There's no question that the, uh, the general financial malaise has affected the art market. I mean, some prices have gone down 30% in, in, in Impressionist paintings, post-Impressionist paintings. We have done very well by selling um, to known clients. Because we've been established so long, we have a wide uh, a wide selection of both sources for buying art and sources for selling art. I think the dealers who will be most affected are those who started just a few years ago with the big boom, who uh, haven't got a large number of clients to both buy and uh, sell to. I think the next two years will be tough, but I think you can still make great buys and you can still sell well, but those great buys and sells will be, say, 50% lower than they, they had 
two years ago. I don't mean 50% lower in price. I know some French um, dealer, a French dealer in Malang and uh, an auctioneer claimed that prices would go down 40% across the board. I think that's rubbish. I think there's still confidence in the market. We've got new clients coming in because prices are a little weaker. So I think in, in when the market is bullish, you can make good buys, you can also make bad buys, and the same applies to today's bear market.